Hey, what's up everyone? So today, um, just like I explained how to read a chart, today I want to explain to you what is Lord Through House series. Because I know many of you are commenting, many of you are sending me messages like, what are you uploading? What is this Lord Through House series? You know, why are you making it so complicated? Well, first let me tell you, this is the, one of the easiest thing in astrology to learn. Second, this is the most important thing in astrology to learn. You guys got to understand. This is even more important than seeing, oh, my Saturn is in the 7th house, my Saturn is in the 8th house, or my Sun is in the 6th house. This Lord Through House series is actually what astrologer looks at when he looks at or when he or she looks at your horoscope. They look, where is the Lord of the house placed? Because what is it doing? Because a Lord Through House series is about telling you how a planet is expressing himself, what result it's bringing. Okay, so I'm going to explain that to you is what is Lord through houses. So you guys can enjoy this series because you guys are watching it, but then you're like, okay, what is this? What am I not getting? And I know most of you probably know about this who are astrology enthusiastics, who are intermediate advanced ast uh, astrology people. But for someone who has just subscribed to me through a simple video as like sun and scorpio or something is now wondering what am i doing well once you know this this is going to this series actually might become one of the most favorite series of everyone who hasn't understood this because this is how astrology this is what actually how you predict so what are lords in astrology and by the way before i even start this series watch this video this video tells you how to read a chart. You need to know how to read a basic astrological chart. So go here, watch this video, then come back to this video. It will make even more sense because I don't want to explain what I explained in this video here. Okay, so uh, watch this video. It'll tell you what is exactly is a birth chart and how do you read it. Okay, but uh, now I'm going to explain you the Lord Through Houses series. And by the way, if you click on the link here, uh, uh, on my website, astrologycares.com, and you get your report. The report itself actually writes it for you, explains it. Third Lord in the seventh house. Eighth Lord in the second house. So once you already read it, it's telling you exactly where your Lords are placed. So you can go back to my video of like second Lord through house and see, oh, it says in my report, second Lord is in the eleventh house. Let me see what that means. And then you go there and you find out, damn. You can make a lot of money with that uh, alignment. So you can get that here if you, if you just, you know, want someone to just tell you in a written form. But lords through houses. What are lords? Lords are simply planets. When I say lord of the third in the sixth, what I mean by is a planet that controls the third house is sitting in the sixth house. And Lord is uh, really referring because you know how king has a kingdom. He takes care of his kingdom. In astrology, planets have kingdom. Some planets have two kingdoms. Most of the planets control two kingdoms. While sun and moon only control one kingdom. And I'm going to tell you what do I mean by that. Well, in astrology, you have told zodiac signs from Aries all the way through Pisces. And a certain planet is controlling a certain zodiac sign. Certain planets becomes responsible for that zodiac sign. So Aries is controlled by Mars. Actually, let me make it even easier. Let me tell you the kingdom that Mars controls. Mars controls Aries and Scorpio. So anytime I refer to the, let's say, third lord in the sixth house, I am referring that if you have the sign Aries or Scorpio in the third house, that means the Lord of that sign is Mars. And that is sitting in the sixth house. So now Mars in your horoscope is expressing his Aries sign and Scorpio sign together through the sixth house. So that means if Aries is in the third house, if Aries is in the third house, that means Scorpio is in the tenth house. And both of which are ruled by Mars. And their Lord, the controller of these two signs, is sitting in the sixth house. So what is it doing? That's what this series is about. So Mars controls Aries and Scorpio. S uh, Saturn. Saturn controls Capricorn and Aquarius sign. Venus 
controls Libra, Taurus, and Libra. Jupiter controls Sagittarius and Pisces. Mercury controls Gemini and Virgo. Sun controls Leo and Moon controls Cancer. And when these two, all these planets come together, they create what is known as the astrological chart and astrological signs and houses. So remember, each planet, most of the planet except Sun and Moon are controlling two signs. And Sun and Moon only control one sign. And certain sign, after you watch my video of how to read a chart, certain sign is going to be in a certain house. And planet that controls these signs is not going to be sitting in their own sign all the time. It depends on what time of the year you were born. So they're going to be in a different house, in different sign. And what's happening is that they're expressing the, the lower houses that they control. Those houses are getting results through certain situation. Maybe you're getting money through disputes and divorces because your second lord of wealth is sitting in the sixth house. That means planet that whose sign is in the second house is sitting in the sixth house. So your money and savings are being expressed through the sixth house. Whether this can mean you are winning money through litigation and disputes and through enemies or you're losing money through them. So you got to know all these things and after watching that um, birth chart video, hopefully that has made it even more easier now to understand that Lord is simply a planet who controls his or her respective sign and they're sitting in some house all, all throughout the year they're moving and so they're sitting in certain house and certain uh, sign and when you're born that snapshot is taken and so the first Lord can be sitting in the 12th house, first Lord can be sitting in the first house, first Lords can be sitting in the 8th house. So this is what Lord through house series is. And hopefully now you understand that what I am talking about for the past month and a half with these lords. And hopefully it should now be more fun when I do my continue my Lord Through House series. So you guys don't get confused. You guys don't get lost. And obviously, as I said, if you don't even get this, once you get the report here on this website, it, it tells you in one of those pages. That your second Lord is sitting in the 12th house. Your second Lord sitting in this house. And you just see. Don't go on the computerized prediction. Just see what it's saying. And then just go back to the videos that I'm making. And maybe uh, some of the videos I have not made. Because I'm just on third Lord. There's 12 houses. So I'm just on the third house. So there's a lot more to go. So, But remember guys. This is the meat of astrology. This is what the first eye goes to when I look at a chart. I'm like, oh, where's the Ascendant Lord sitting? Ascendant Lord is in the 12th house. Oh, so it's 12 places away from itself. Oh, what is it doing? Oh, Second Lord is in the 8th house. Oh, he might be getting money through inheritance. See how important it becomes? It's like a natural thing. It'll become like a split nanosecond uh, thing in you once you grasp this idea of uh, Lord through houses. All right. So, guys, this was my analysis and little uh, lesson on Lords through houses and what it means. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And again, if you wanted to get a report and my astrological books that explains all this in more detail, check out this link or uh, my link in the description section. See you later. Bye bye.